You've delivered vehicles where you made all the money before and the customer loved you, right? Mm -hmm. You've delivered vehicles where you made nothing and they still hated you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a perception. And we're responsible for that perception. The words we use, and neither, neither one of you closed worth a shit. Okay, look, Roger, people need help saying yes. Um, you guys have got very expensive product here. You know, I told you the average price of a new vehicle in the country is a little under 50. I guarantee it's higher here. Way more. Way, yeah, way, exactly, way more. Um, customers aren't stupid by any stretch of the imagination, but they're not very good at buying cars and trucks, so they don't do it very often. And it's difficult. I mean, if the biggest decision you make on a daily basis is what, what to buy at the grocery store, saying yes to an $80,000 truck might be a little bit difficult. So what's your job? Your job is to help make it easier for the customer. I want you to watch how easy I make this for the customer to say yes. I'm not going to confuse them with a lot of numbers. Now, I'm prepared to answer any question about any number over here. But the only numbers I'm going to highlight are the discount, the rebate, Where's the trade in on this one? What we're buying your vehicle for, and I'm going to have to write it in because on this particular, I, I can't believe that your desking system doesn't do this automatically. $2,466 in tax savings. Uh, those are the numbers I want the customer to concentrate on. All the good numbers, $5,000 discount, $3,250 rebate, $30,000 for theirs, $2,466 tax savings. I want to make it easy for them. Okay, again, I'll be more than happy to answer any question over here if the customer stops me, and, and, and some of them will. A cash buyer doesn't give a shit about what's over here. I get that, okay? And I understand, based on the demographics in this area, that you guys have a lot of cash buyers. That's cool, and that's it's a nice luxury to have. Um, a lot of places I go, there are no cash buyers, okay? Everybody, it's a struggle to get anybody bought, okay? So this is a luxury. And then I'm going to go over here. Um, this is set up perfectly for me to tell the cash and payment stories, or the cash and term stories, which equal the payments. What's good about a short-term payment, Roger? Yeah, rates going be low. Um, not necessarily. Plus, I don't want to bring up rates with the customer. I don't want to get into a rate conversation because there's no rate on here. Correct. So I'm, I'm guessing they use a mid-range rate to, to, um, for demonstration purposes here. Um, you may be right, but I don't want to say that. What else is good about a short-term payment? Build equity quick. You build equity quick, except uh, customers don't understand what that means. How do I know that? I've gotten thousands of comments on my videos, maybe 100,000 comments. Um, and whenever I use the term equity, build equity faster, um, you have equity in your trade, whenever I use that term, people chime in and go, you can't have equity in a depreciating asset. They don't understand the, how the word is used in our, in our world. You're right. So I use cash value. Um, you, you build cash value faster, which allows you to trade it sooner. Um, that's, that's more easily understood by consumers. What else is good about 36 months? Um, you get to the dream payment faster. What's the dream payment? No payment at all. Okay, what else? Got a calculator there. Multiply 36 times 28.39. Multiply 72 times 16.48. 118.656. That payment right there saves you $6,452. Doesn't matter who you borrow the money from. Yeah. If you borrow it for 36 months versus 72, you're going to save a ton of money in finance charges. Now, I'm under no illusions about moving people back to 36 months. I get that. But if they pass on 
saving $6,452 makes it difficult for them to object to anything else. Okay? It's a little thing that makes a big difference. Again, these are what the best salespeople in the country do when they're presenting the numbers. And when I talk about best salespeople in the country, I'm talking about people that make, you know, $150,000, $200,000, $300,000 selling cars. I mean, it's, it's, if you make 300 grand selling cars, and I hope you do, you won't be the first one. If you make a million bucks selling cars, you won't be the first one. And I'm talking selling cars.